I am really glad I am not English. My brother used to say that to me when we were little. He backed up his belittlement with, just look at the map, Scotland will always be looking down at England. And I didn't like him talking like that. Even as a kid, I never had much time for contempt. His voice bounces around my brain as the police are banging my door. My parents couldn't take that talk either because they were from the north of England, which TV has taught me is the lesser of many Englands. TV, which is mostly posh white English men very occasionally attempting to write people who don't look like them. I know this because I looked it up, because I get sick of not seeing folk who speak like me in the TV. So I threw it out of the window and I poured water on it all in the hope that something more interesting would grow out of it. I got my love of gardening from my granny. Roses were her speciality. She grew them in a quiet corner of Yorkshire. She grew every colour but blue. No such thing as a naturally blue rose, she said in a thick Yorkshire accent that seemed so alien to mine. It's funny how we assume our accents are anchors into shared ancestors. But I don't think it's inside our voice boxes where all our histories are held. My granny and me became determined to grow a blue rose. We tried every flower, every fertiliser, but it proved futile until one final act of alchemy. We took a thistle and rose and attempted to cross-fertilise. And with that, we finally grew something new. I'm not sure it was beautiful, but it looked impossible. She died not long after, strapped to an NHS ventilator. I miss her deep, dirty laugh and, and the way she called me love was more like a hug than any palms have promised. So from my granny's front room, I took those fucked up thorny thickets. I cut them down and I cut them up into a powder so fine it was practically particles. I bagged it up and sold them on for people to snort or, or, or shoot or smoke. I called it intoxicating, called it a narcotic, I called it a nation. People became addicted to an ideal, an idea. But... How can you love that which you cannot hold? The police climb into the car, quietly questioning if anything illegal is happening here. But I've snorted it enough to know it's poison. The notion of a nation is nothing but poison. I go to my granny's grave and on top of her, I plant my passport. Wondering what will grow from the artificial insemination of my nation in this piece of clay we call a country. I don't know what England is. Maybe England was the execution of an idea. Maybe England will eventually become extinct. Maybe England was just my granny growing roses in a, a quite corner of Yorkshire. <laughs> and as I leave, I hear my granny's voice saying, horticulture is like happiness, like harmony. It takes time and care and resources and resilience, but love in the right conditions. We can grow just about anything. <laughs>